Hello everyone, this is Sasuke of Flames welcoming you back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle video. This one is going to be a follow-up to the last video, but this time it's going to be about uh, fighting Fat Boo. Uh, my team is going to stay exactly the same because it pretty much for me it works pretty well. Uh, especially if you can find a friend that has a Super Gogeta uh, Dokken with as high of a special attack level as you can. That makes all the difference in taking these forms down. Uh, the, the big difference between this one and the Vegeta one is he actually has three forms. Uh, I believe he starts out as a fat form, if I remember, then goes to, uh, I'm trying to remember, he goes into, uh, his, his tech type super boot form, and then he finishes with the strength type, uh, I believe, like, boot tanks type form. If I remember, I'm remembering correctly, so it takes a bit more, and he has his candies uh, blocking you constantly and stuff. So that can be a problem about getting away, but overall, if you have a very strong team, it shouldn't be too difficult. But this one is a little bit more difficult than the other one, and obviously it all depends on what kind of luck you have. You could have worse luck and have worse hits, and he really does do some damage. See, it's looking like the best one right here is going to be this one. Super attack level All eight. Right, let's do this. And for me, I, I I just bring two healing items and uh, the Ghost Usher and uh, King Yama for damage reduction if needed. I haven't had to really use a lot of these items on here though, thankfully. I, I'd rather try to save them for like harder things like Doken fights, like the actual Doken event fights, not just this. Hopefully I can get some of these. Not hit and get blown up. Okay, can I... What is this gonna be? Uh, okay, it's actually more. I can deal with that. But yeah, that is the tech type nuker uh, Goku. But since he's like not the leader, he's not gonna do any of the crazy dams or anything like that. But yeah, it starts off with him right off. And he changes all these. Okay, if he's in my hand, I'm gonna use this one right away. Okay, yeah, it makes more sense to do this. Go ahead and hit him hard right away. This will probably put him down, uh, if you can, right off. Okay, I don't really have anything to work with. Is that going to drop that down? Oh, it did drop down the one I wanted. It's not going to matter. Like, I am almost positive that this will kill him right here. The first one, there's still two more faces in it. So yeah, that one is very easy due to the friend at like yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Settle down. Okay, then he goes straight to the tech type card that no one cares about. Okay, we got a lot of shit going on. Uh, uh shift this around. Do I want that to happen right there? Yeah, I'll keep this right here. He's not going to do much damage, but I, I wanted to keep him there all the same. I'm not going to be able to get a special attack off here. Hopefully he doesn't do his special attack. Because they probably do a lot of damage. I don't know exactly how much. Beerus doesn't really have a lot of defense. So this could backfire on me, depending on if he's special attacks. No, he just kicked me in the gut, but that was a lot of damage for that. Okay, what do we got? Converts key to candies. Faster. Stop changing shit. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to heal up just in case. I do not want to be left completely vulnerable against them, but I will take my type advantage. Do I have any of these? I am gonna take that just in case. Is he gonna stay? Shit, if I move him. Well, he, he only leaves one there, so that's not really a problem. I'll just take any one. And I'll just take these just to get them out of the way, just in case this doesn't kill. He's, he's, he's dead. He'll like, I say just in case, but there's no way he survives uh, that attack. Not that one, this one. It could be probably full health, and this would just about kill him if not kill him. I'm not sure his exact health count, but it's nowhere near that. Okay, this one is the talk one I was talking about. Strength of uh, uh, boot tanks. Okay, he doesn't even attack the first turn. Strength type. Can I actually... Yes. 
sucks. I don't have anything set up any well at all. And of course, that's not gonna drop down. Yeah, no matter what I do, I'm not gonna get a good one unless that drops down. So I'll at least have uh, Tech Type Goku uh, able to get off the super, but the rest were. I just had uh, bad stretches. They didn't set up well at all. Oh yeah, this final one does have multiples that he can throw at you. Go ahead and take this. That'll drop down. If I can do this. I should be able to get off this special attack. I'm not healing or blocking or anything because I'm pretty sure this will defeat him. And if this stuns him, it doesn't matter. But I haven't had good luck with stunning late. Okay, it stunned him, so good. The little, like, yellow flashing thing above his, uh, name or whatever, it means he's stunned, so he can't do anything for two turns anyway. Which, it doesn't matter anyway, because he's dead, but... As you can see, you don't always get the drop, though. That's the only bad thing. Uh, during the last event, when I was going for, uh, Trunks' medals, I went 7 of 8 on drops. I only had one time that didn't drop, but this time, it's seeming like... You, it's a lot harder to get the drops. Um, you can still get them. You just have to not give up. But it's, it's the drop rates are seeming worse than the past one. You just have to keep pushing, keep trying, and they will eventually drop for you. They, they're like they're not as bad as some of these uh, like strike cards that like King Vegeta his strike card. That thing does not drop for crap. It is hard to get that one to drop. It is nothing like this. It's like more like seem about 20 to 30 percent drop rate i'm just throwing this off the top of my head i have nothing to back that up it's just like i went like three of seven for vegeta this far and that's just one of two for boo because i haven't fought him i'm trying to get the Monte vegeta done first um i don't know uh when the awakening videos for them when they'll be out because i have to wait for my health to re stamina respawn on them and actually have them drop. But as soon as that happens, I'll be having those videos up. Um, I'm recording all three of these videos all at the same time. I did the summoning video first, then I did the Majin Vegeta one, and then I did this one now. So, you kind of understand that these are going to go up later in the future. Um, wanted to knock them out all at once. Um, if you've tried these events, and you're having any difficulty with them, like you're not being able to get a team to put them out, you can always ask me for advice. I, I've been playing since the beginning, but I'm I'm not even gonna pretend like I have anywhere near the expertise that uh, Living Ichigo does. If you really uh, need help badly and you your team isn't as strong as you need, then you can always ask him for advice, um, and he might be able to help you out. Usually, I go and look at his page for advice because he always does guides on every on all this, uh, really in depth. Um, and if you're actually been able to take them out, uh, let me know what your drop rate for these medals have been. And also, do you have the cards for the medals to actually uh, doken them? I'm lucky to have both of them at this time. I've had that Fat Boo for a while. I think the Fat Boo is like one of my, I don't know, like second SSRs I ever pulled. It's an old SSR, but... Anyway, guys, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one. See ya!